Hello students, in this video we'll see how to find the vector formulation of the foot of an angle bisector using vectors. Recall that if we're given two vectors, A and B, so I give you two vectors, what I can do is I can look at the line segment between those two vectors. Here's the vector B, here's the vector A. And I'm going to consider a point on the line segment between A and B, visualizing them as vectors. Of course, as we're visualizing them as vectors, we know that they're vectors with respect to the origin, right? So in other words, I can look at the, the say the origin's over here, then that's the vector A, and that's the vector B, okay? So what we can do now is we can notice that, and here of course is the vector x, that's the point of division on the line segment, okay? We can notice now that the vector from A to x, which is x minus a, is in the same direction as a to b. So what we can do is if we let this length over here be length x, from a to x have length x, and we let from x to b have length y, then we can notice that the length of ax as a vector is equal to x, and the length of a to b is equal to x plus y. Now, since a b is in the same, since x a to x is in the same direction as a b, we know that a x is a multiple lambda of a b. And if we take the lengths of this equation, we have the length of a x, which is x, is equal to lambda times the length of a b, which is x plus y. And that tells us exactly what lambda has to be equal to. Lambda has to be x over x plus y. And so now we can use this to rewrite the equation. So this tells us now that x minus a is equal to lambda, which is x over x plus y, times b minus a, b minus a. And now I can add a to both sides of this equation and conclude that the vector point x is going to be what? It's going to be x b over x plus y. And then I'm going to have a plus, plus a, so I'm going to have a plus 1 minus x over x plus y times the vector a. And so what this simplifies to is this is going to simplify to just y over x plus y. So this is going to be x b plus y a over x plus y. So this is a very useful formula because now we can apply this to the angle bisector problem. So now if we have a triangle like this. If I have a and then B, and then C, a triangle. And I draw the angle bisector. And I call that point over there D. And that's the angle bisector. So that's going to be alpha over 2 and alpha over 2. Then what do we know? If this length over here, I'm going to call this length over here, um, let's call that length over there x, and that length over there y. And then the opposite side from C, I'm going to call that length C, and I'm going to call the opposite side from B, B. So we know that x over y, in this configuration, x over y is equal to C over B by the angle bisector theorem. This is the angle bisector theorem. And from this, we can use now what the, what the coordinates of D will be. Well, D is a point that's in the same direction as CD. So from this formula, we know that D is, as a vector, will be what? Well, according to this formula over here, the x goes with the endpoint. So I'm going to have x times C, x times the vector C, plus y times the vector B, all divided by x plus y. Now, if I divide this whole equation by y, I will have x over y c plus b over x over y plus 1. Now, we know by the angle bisector theorem that x over y is equal to c over b, so I can replace everything with a c over b. So this is going to turn into 
c over b, c plus b over c over b, c over b plus 1, c over b plus 1. If I multiply top and bottom by b, I can conclude, therefore, that d, the vector form of the foot of the angle bisector, is going to be equal to c times c plus b times b over b plus c. So this is the formula for the foot of the angle bisector from the vertex a to the side length that goes between b and c. Thank you very much.